Hello, everybody. We are live at Pace Studios right now with Honey Blood. Stina, thanks for being here. No problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, uh, yeah, thanks for even crisscrossing the country quite a bit recently. You were at Babies in Brooklyn on Monday, the Echo in LA on Tuesday, and now here we are on whatever day it is now, what and you're here, <laughs> back in New York. So thank you. Um, so congratulations to you. Pre congratulations. In Plain Sight is going to come out on May 24th on Marathon Artists, and we are looking very much forward to hearing three songs from it. Can you tell us what you're going to start with? Yeah, I'm going to play the first single off. It's called The Third Degree. Seen you out late last night. You were showing a catch a good time. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, can we talk a little bit about the the themes on the album, the themes of, of illusion and deception, and specifically how that plays into the album artwork, which I'm going to post a picture of that to the uh, in the comment section right now. It's absolutely outstanding. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've been writing this record for about a year, and um, I feel like it's a record of kind of self-discovery in a way. I mean, I'm kind of trying to figure out the riddles in my own life so that's why I kind of like I had the concept of in plain sight because essentially making this album I kind of came to this conclusions that I needed to come to um but I uh on a whim kind of got in touch with this um incredible artist called Cecilia Paradis um who lives in Philadelphia and was like just felt like it really connected to me and what I was making musically with this record so just being gallus, which is a Scottish word for being like 
bit kind of like ballsy. Um, I just emailed her and was like, hey, fancy painting me for an album cover? And she was like, yeah, if you're ever in Philly, like like it's never going to happen. And I just turned up and I was like, hey, so remember I said to you that um, if I ever I was in Philly, I would hit you up. And yeah, she did it. Um, it's a... Uh, it was a long 16 hours, though, sitting very naked and very cold getting painted. <laughs> well, hopefully worth it. Certainly, uh, uh, it's, it is striking. It's outstanding. And I love knowing that that actually happened because yeah. it does not look real at all. It looks very, very computer generated. And the fact that it happened in reality is awesome. Totally. I've seen like loads of stuff that's very similar. But like I do feel like there's some sort of like really charm, charm to it because it is real. Um, but she like totally explained to me that um, the way that it works is is it's visual empathy. It's like your brain wants to believe that um, it lines up properly and that it is kind of like camouflaged. The body is camouflaged into the background, but I don't want to spoil it for people looking at it. If you look at it, it's like you can see where it's not. <laughs> but um, it's very beautiful and I, yeah. I'm really happy that she um, agreed to make it come true for me good me too um can you tell us what you're going to play second off of in plain sight yeah i'm going to play um the newest single she's a nightmare
Thank you. Thank you. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about what it was like, the production process of the uh, of the music video for that song? I'm dropping a link to that in the comment section right now. This is uh, sort of a theme that the the visuals along with this with this record are absolutely stunning. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so there's a little bit of like uh, the song is written about my experience with sleep paralysis and night terrors. And that, that is what the song is about. That's, that just came up with the artist that just left here. This has been a day full of talking really? about sleep paralysis. Yeah. I'm so up for talking about <laughs> it with other people who have it because I find it like it's just an, a look into your deepest, darkest psyche, isn't it? Like, you know, um, so I like to speak to other people who've had it too. see if we, we share like the same you know, similarities. Oh, it's terrifying, man. It just seems it's pretty, like there's a, a figure pretty, hanging pretty. out in the corner of the room and you can't do anything about it. Oh, I can. Really? Yeah, so I, I'm a sleep runner. I run around. And I can, you know, like they say, loads of people, like they're stiff as a board and they try and scream and they can't make noise. I can scream. I like, <laughs> I do it, freak so. out everybody who's <laughs> in the house with me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that that's that's where the song came from. And the the figure that would come and haunt me um isn't like a hag or like the man in the tall dark jacket with the hat which is the one that people see she's a tall babe she's like this young woman with she wears a yellow dress and she has like kind of like Uma Thurman in Pulp Fiction kind of like Bob Black Bob and so I put her in the music video I got like you know someone to wear the dress and dress up like this woman and I walked in to shoot the video and she was fully dressed with the wig on and everything and I just freaked out because she looked so much like her it was like I met her in real life um so yeah that's a little bit of like HB trivia because we just kind of threw that in there because I was like ah well just like to add a little extra but the contortionists were just incredible um yeah, Francoise and Casper, the two contortionists who are in the video. And they're just incredible to watch that happen. Yeah. Although one of them did kick me in the face. So <laughs> when I look at that, I'm sitting, I'm sitting at the table. And, um, but it seems like one a of them contortionist's like, kick would, would give a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, it was, um, <laughs> they were very apologetic, but they didn't have much room. You know, we put them on a table and we had to like bend about. But um, it was a fun, a fun video. We shot it at um, Simon's Magic House, which is actually a real life magic theater that you can go and see magic happen. <laughs> cool. Well, that's awesome. I'm glad that you had that experience. It seemed like a ton of fun to make. And it is confirmed that was a ton of fun to make. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, can you tell us what you're going to do third off of In Plain Sight? Yeah, I'm going to do a song called Glimmer.
Watch out, she'll be with you if you play untrue. Better not try to trick her. She could put a Christina, thank you so much. Um, if you are just joining us, the internet, um, that was those were three songs from In Plain Sight. It's coming out on May 24th on Marathon Artists. And oh, wait, I also wanted, I just got sidetracked by all the awesome visuals. I definitely wanted to hear about the production process and what it was like working with John Congleton. Can we can we take that detour before we wrap? Yeah, totally. Um, I mean, he was my number one that, um, you know, if someone was like, what's the producer that you'd like to work on for your next album? I was like, well, probably John Congleton. And then asked him and he was like, yeah, cool. So it was <laughs> perfect, totally perfect. Um, yeah, I kind of had been doing, I mean, my two previous albums, I really had um, kind of concentrated on a very classic guitar sound. So for this new one, I really wanted to take it somewhere different and not just kind of do this standard like rock sound um although I still love that sound obviously but it's kind of fun to like kind of mess it up a bit um and he's so good at that so we had loads of fun just making guitars not sound like guitars um and he just works so fast we did you know we did the album in nine days it's 11 songs and I'm just like so into that I'm really fast working um anything more than two weeks is far too long to make a record I think <laughs> well, cool. That sounds like an awesome uh, time was had making it and making all of the visuals and all of the painting that went along with it. So thank you for sharing it with us today. In Plain Sight is the album. And you... Uh, are there tour dates that I just didn't write down? We just did a, done a well, couple of two. dates, but we're hopefully yeah. going to come back to the States when cool. we're done. We've got like a massive UK tour. So once we finish that, we'll come back. Cool. And all the details will be up at honeyblood.co.uk and mm -hmm. the Facebook and all the places you would expect tour dates to be. So thank you, Stina, very much for coming and doing this. Thanks for having me. Right. <laughs>